Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a little craft with me. Um, I watched a video over on Creating with Scraps, that's Corey Dahlman over there, and she just did a video where she did three, I can't remember if it was three or four different kinds of, of little ephemera bits using rectangles, and so I thought um, the first one she showed was this belly band with a wraparound writing space that goes to the other side of the page. And so I thought I would give those a try. They sounded really appealing to me. So let me show you what they look like and then we will go through how to do them. Now every one of them is going to be different in that your dimensions are going to be different. So the first journal that I'm making these for is the tra Shabby Travel Journal. Um, and I'm going to be doing some for the Fairy Magic Journals, which will be a different size. <clears throat> so I had to be thinking about how wide my pages were. So this one measures uh, three and a half by two. So, um, so the way it works, and I put a pocket on mine, and I'm not sure exactly how people hold things in here unless you put a really, you make it really tight, because um, I would think things would just fall out, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try a couple of them going this direction versus this direction, but, so that's what it looks like. It wraps around the page. Let me grab the journal really quick, guys, so sorry. should have had that out before I turn the camera on. So this is our Shabby Travel Journal. And I've got all the signatures and everything in as you guys have already seen in a video. And um, so basically what I did <clears throat> is I had to think about a different size for this, this journal because it's so small. So my pages measure three and a half by uh, five and a half um, and then the, the the cover is slightly different slightly bigger so I created those travel tags um, not too long ago and they literally don't fit in the journal I mean they fit but they take up the whole page and they stick out so I might just put them in as a you know as a freebie um, they won't really go in this journal because they're too big I don't know what I was thinking when I made those but they are too big for this journal so basically what happens is you pick a page, you're going to slide this on here, you're going to measure, you're going to determine how wide your page, it, page, it, page is, and then that's how, uh, how wide you want this to be, and then you're going to fold it at the page edge, and then when you flip it over, you've got this other bit, and then when you open it, you have this writing space. Look at this. Is this epic or what? Brilliant, Corey. Brilliant. So when this goes in a journal, I will put a little piece of Velcro on here and on here, and it will stick to the page. It's gonna be awesome. So that is the prototype. And then I put some little bits in here. Oh, they stuck a little bit. Um, when I did this kit, I printed it at 50% the normal size, so I got little bitty ephemera, which is so adorable. Look at this. These, this kit is from My Porch Prints. If you guys have been watching the Shabby Travel uh, journey here for the journal, you'll know. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be my last creative video for this journal. I need to finish it. And if I keep creating more ephemera on camera, it just pushes that out more and more because I am hopping between a couple projects. So we're going to let this be the last ephemera making video, which means... Um, I, I said that I would do the last video and then, well, a week from the time the video publishes is when, um, is when I will do the drawing. So let me pull my calendar over and just see, uh, see what we got going on here for dates. So yeah, so this, this, um, video will publish on May the 12th, Friday, May the 12th. So, um, so then a week from there ish so Friday or Saturday of the following week then um, I'll do the drawing and the reason why I'm doing it a little bit more quick because I'm going to be going out of town at the end of May and I want to be sure that I get this stuff in the mail for you all so um, that being said let's talk about the drawing a little bit so this is the grand prize for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway and we are nearly at 3,300 already it's crazy so um, 
it also propels me to, <laughs> to want to get this finished. So, um, so in order to qualify for the drawing, uh, for the grand prize, well, for all the prizes, but the grand prize is this journal, you need to be a subscriber on the channel and you need to like every video in the Shabby Travel Journal playlist. And then the other thing you need to do is leave a comment sharing two of your favorite creators. Um, now, if those are the same two because you don't watch a lot of people, that is perfectly fine. I just really want to um, have it, have those uh, people known. And then I'm going to create a list and I'm going to start doing shout outs for other creator channels that you guys love. So that's the plan. And so this is only available, unfortunately, to people in the United States and Canada. I just can't afford to send overseas and see or uh, I can't afford to send internationally. I don't, I don't sell my work. I literally sold my first journal um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I am selling one of the fairy journals, um, not the one that you saw the video on recently, but the lap book style one. I am selling that. The person reached out to me again, and so we're going to pursue that that arrangement and. There we go. So that is the, um, those are the details. They will also be linked in the video description as well as over on my blog and um, on my main social media, not in the groups, but on my main page in my business page, um, b.rebornartandhealing, and then on Kara Renee Wolf if you just follow me on regular Facebook. So let's see. <laughs> um, so what I did is I, I figured out dimensions before I started. So I wanted my belly band to be two inches high and then I knew it needed to be three and a half inches wide for the pot, for the side, the width of the page. But then I wanted to tack on another two and a half inches for this bit on the back. And then I cut my pages. Um, I doubled it, so I I cut them uh, four and a half inches, four and a half inches by just under two inches. Uh, wide and then I just folded all the pages in half so they're kind of it's kind of like a booklet so that's the dimension so obviously for this be a great scrap buster deal guys and I probably will do that in the future because I've got tons of scraps and um, because you're not having to try to fit corresponding papers together you could easily use your scraps and make some beautiful beautiful uh, wrap around belly bands with the writing space so so you will have to measure as you go along. I will tell you what my measurements are as we go through this, but that is, um, that's my advice to you. So <clears throat> these are for a couple of bigger ones. So I'm going to set this aside for now and we'll see how far we get. So this is the second one that I'm making for the travel journal. And it is, uh, is it the same paper? I think it might be the same paper, just a different part of it because this is um, this is one of the collage pages from the kit. Is that not gorgeous or what? Look at that. Look at those roses, they're so beautiful. And then this is the flip side. So this one measures uh, five and a half inches high. So this one's actually going to go this way. That's vertical, right? <laughs> um, so that's going to go that way and this is going to be off of the bottom of the page so that when you flip the page this writing space will flip down. So um, so that's what that measures and I believe they are also two inches because of the size of the journal. So yeah, two inches wide and I already did prepare my papers for this one just um, just for the a smooth uh, process for the very first one. So this measures um, two and five eighths by two. So so if folded out, the whole length of the strip would be, whoops, would be uh, five about five and five and three eighths inches. So uh, so that's that. That is all ready to go. I have my long arm stapler. That's what I'm going to use to staple my pages together. And so let's go ahead and get going. I've got some little bits here as well. I did already cut my little thumb notch for my vellum. So I'm going to put a vellum pocket on this because I don't really want to lose the beauty of this background. So I thought wow let's just let's just insert a little um, a little transportation picture there isn't that beautiful so that's what we're gonna do so let me go ahead and ink these bits up and then we will proceed okay getting to the end here we do have a little tiny word this is the kit words uh, again printed at 50% so they are 
half the regular size. Ticket to Ride. I thought that was really fitting with this little, is it a bus? I think it's a bus. Isn't that beautiful? Or so cute, rather. Okay, so let's get going. So we've already got this. So basically, um, I took the length, as I, and I, as I mentioned, I folded it. Um, I didn't, I didn't um, score it, I just folded it. And then, so that's gonna go, um, this is the direction. So you do wanna pay attention to that so that when you start decorating it, you don't end up with it upside down. So um, I think we're gonna go ahead and put our paper in first just to get that out of the way. Um, I do need to ink this first. I'm just gonna ink it really fast here. My apologies, guys, I completely missed doing that before. I'm not too concerned about inking this really well. I do want to share this paper with you. So I ordered some linen paper. I don't know if you can see the texture on this paper. Hopefully it will focus. There's the texture. So this is linen paper and I coffee dyed it and I absolutely love it. Look at that. Just amazing. And I like the weight of it. It's just the perfect weight for this kind of project. So. I'm gonna let that stand and not gonna worry about it being inked any any further. So again, we wanna think about the direction. So this is the up position. So when we put this book in, um, this is gonna open like this. So we want our book, we want our book to open like that, I guess so. Um, let me think about this here. Let me get the book over here. I have to, I have to practically look at this, so. If I put this in like that, it's gonna to go to the top of the page, theoretically speaking. And so then when this folds down, we want that to be the writing space. So I think I would put the book like this so that it opens up this way. So that's kind of what I was looking for here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a mark on the back of my, on the back of this so that I know that that's up and then that is also up, okay? So let's go ahead and staple this. Super easy. Easy peasy as they say. So I'm just gonna open it up. It's a little bit too long for a regular staple, so this works really great. This is a very affordable stapler. I got it on Amazon. I will try to link it. Let me make a note, otherwise I will not remember. So pardon my reach. Stapler. I think I paid like 12 or 13 dollars for it. I couldn't believe how affordable it was and it's very very helpful to have. So I'm just inking that so that I can um, so that I can see that line and then I only put one well this one's a little bit wider so I think I will put two staples in this and I'm just gonna put one on that edge and hope that I'm lined up pretty pretty good and again there we go all right, not too bad. So then this is going to go like that and it's going to glue right here. So again, <laughs> I've told you guys before I don't do backwards and upside down and turned around very well. So put that back on. We embrace our weaknesses, right? And we're gonna put this on and then this is gonna go like that. So let's not move a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put glue on the back of this. I think I'm just gonna use my, um, you know what, I'm gonna use my art glitter glue just because I'm gonna be messing around with the front of this. And the art glitter glue does set faster than the Fabri-Tac. But of course, of course, of course, it's plugged up. Glue is my nemesis. Adhesives. There we go. Yeah. So I hope you guys are doing okay. It's um, it's been a wild few weeks, as you know, in my world. But I am trying to just embrace the pockets of peace and let go of what I cannot control, which right now is quite a lot. So I'm just trying, I'm not doing a very good job at times because I'm quite frustrated um, especially with the school levy stuff. Um, it's very unnerving to not know what's going to happen with your job. So there we go. 
So it is a little bit bulky. You can see that it's a little bit bulky, but again, as I mentioned before, I do allow for that bulk in my journals. So I think this one, we might be able to just put it directly in the journal. Um, I think it would actually be really good on this page that I was kind of playing on here. Um, so it would go on like this. And so then in theory, it's gonna be glued right here and right here. And then we can decorate it once we get it get it on here. So let's do that. Doesn't go quite to the top now because of the bulk of the paper, I believe is probably the cause of that, um, which is not a problem. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to need some Fabri-Tac here because it's pretty thick down there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put a bead across all that stitching. Awesome stitching. I'm going to grab a paper towel here if you can reach it. So this is my first day creating in the studio. Um, with my um, my window completely open there's no air conditioner in the window I wish I could show you it's so beautiful and uh, the lighting is seems to be fine I there's a little shadow but we are nearing the evening so that's not surprising but I'm so excited now on this I probably will put a piece of lace just to compensate for that lack of uh, what I lost that space so um, I used four pieces of paper in my um, in my little paper pap my paper stack there so you could go like with two or three and and not have as much bulk as I'm experiencing here but I think what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of glue there or not a glue a little bit of lace so I thought what we would do is we'll put this on. It's gonna be a little pocket right here, bringing in that little bus. So I'm gonna glue this on uh, three sides. My notch is here, so I'm just gonna glue down this side. This side. And here, like so. And I'm gonna put that right over the bottom of that little dealio. And it's going to be beautiful. Okay, just going to give that a press. And then the ephemera. I didn't pull ephemera for everything, you guys, because I don't know how far I'm going to get in the video. <clears throat> so I'm not going to stick everything in here, but these are the bits of ephemera that I've gotten. Well, maybe I can stick it in because they're, they're not too wide, but look at that little boat. Isn't that beautiful? So let's stick that in. And then we've got this little one. I love this with the roses and the, the locomotive. So beautiful. And I did have to cut these down from their original size just a bit because they were, um, they were a little bit wide. And then I'm thinking this might be too much. Um, I think that might be too much. So I'm gonna leave that one out. And then I'm just gonna put this little word on. And I have this piece of vintage lace. I hope that I have enough to do the top and this part here. But I thought we'd put a little piece of lace right here. So let me um, see if I can kind of mark this so I know where to cut. I don't know how effective that's going to be. We're going to try it. Reach for my scissors here. <clears throat> so anyways, it's so nice to sit in here, you guys, with there's no obstruction in my window and I can see light coming from in the window and then I have um, I'm gonna do a studio tour soon but I have these shelves that have holes in them like shelves uh, shelves that show the window out and then I can see light under my table too which just brightens up the whole space and I just love it I'm gonna ink these edges the side edges of my lace and then we're gonna glue that on going to use some fabric tech I'm just going to put it directly I think this is vintage I got it from my local antique shop and I it got buried in a basket and I forgot I had it it was buried in the basket for this project but I didn't I haven't been working on it a ton so I completely forgot about it look at that epic so so cool and then I think we're going to put a piece up here if we've got enough Oh, it's not quite enough. Let me grab that lace. Let me see if it's right here. 
so these, these are the tags I was talking about. Look at how big they are. They're too big. I mean, they go in. They might, I might put them in between the signatures. We'll see. But <laughs> seriously, Cara Renee. Seriously. Okay, there's the lace. Let's get a little bit bigger piece here. A little bit bigger. I'm not going to worry about... I usually like to line it things up so that they're equal on all sides, but I don't want to waste this lace. It's so beautiful. And I really don't want to create more scraps. I finally went through my scrap bin. This is my paper scrap bin. And I thinned it out. So I just left stuff in there that I knew I would I would use or would be more likely to use rather than holding on to every little thing. It's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. It's a futile thing because I don't do enough scrap busting stuff to go through my scraps. I just don't. So what I need to start doing is creating some stuff right when I finish a project and then just use those scraps that are, um, that are left over and not carry those over into the future. So I'm just going to put glue on the whole back of this. There we go. Okay. That is our little beautiful lace and I'm going to bump it right up to the top of the page or maybe a little bit over even right there. That is absolutely stunning. Okay, so now what we need to do, and I didn't prepare for this, so my apologies, I probably have a scrap in here. I'm hoping that I've got a scrap from, there it is, there's a piece. So now we're gonna turn this, we're gonna flip this, and now we need to create a closure here so that this will stay on the page, otherwise it's just gonna flip open, open all the time. So I think what I'm going to do is take a piece of this and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to try to cut this semi-straight. Let's see if we can do that. Like so. Hopefully it is even. And then I'm just going to fold that over. I don't know, that's not going to, I probably have to turn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn it like that. So that's going to probably be a little bit long, so I'm going to trim it off. And I'm going to ink it up. So I hope you guys will hop on over and see Corey. Um, this is just a genius idea. She is she is the scrap busting lady though. She, I mean that's her channel, creating with scraps. So she is has some epic ideas. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this closed here. I have a special heart for her because she's a teacher, and I have an immense amount of respect for teachers. Uh, especially in recent years with COVID and everything that we went through. I'm not a teacher, I'm a paraeducator, but I went through it too. And um, we we went through H-E-L-L, to be honest, getting through COVID and trying to trying to keep our kids connected and give them some, some education in the midst of all of that virtually, special education kids virtually. <laughs> Um, I have a student that I work with and I was able to do a little bit with him online because he's a little bit more, he's a little bit more self-sufficient, but we had to still be on the computer and, and prepared to meet our students if they showed up. And um, often they didn't because they didn't necessarily have the parental support. Uh, people were, you know, were working and, you know, trying to hold on to their jobs and all of that during COVID. And then we came back to social distancing and just the insanity of that was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I'm just going to put that Velcro dot right there. And then I'm going to put another one on the back. I get these from Amazon too. So let me, let me mark that down as something to add. I've been forgetting to do this. Uh, when I um, think about it. So I'm just gonna write it down so I don't remember, I don't forget to link it. And then this one I turn over and put on there so that those dots line up like so. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then we're gonna close her up. So she's gonna stay nice and secure. And so what I'll probably do here is I'll maybe I'll do a little cluster or something just to fill up that. Look at that though, that is epic. And we'll find something to stick in here. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, we are done with that journal for now.
So I'm going to leave the Velcro dots out because we are going to probably use those again. So let me pull over the other things. So I thought we'd make two for the fairy journals and I've got a couple pieces of vellum. I thought it would be fun to make some pockets on these as well. We'll see. And then I've got more of that paper. This is that um, linen paper. I mean, look at how it picks up the texture of the coffee. I mean, look at that. It's just epic and it's really a great, it feels really good. I love the feel of it. So I've got quite a bit of that there. So let's get going. I already did measure these out, but let me tell you what the dimensions are. So this one measures because my, um, my fairy journal measure eight and a, the pages measure, measure, measure eight and a quarter by five and a quarter, I believe. So I need this to not be any taller than eight and a quarter and it is not, it's perfect. So I just made a line and then I folded it at that, at that point and then I'm going to cut my papers. I made a mark, a measurement note here to cut the papers that go inside two and an eighth by two and an eighth or rather two and an eighth by four and a quarter, which is two lengths of two and one eighth. So proud of myself. I figured that out. So I've already folded that. So let me, um, and then let me show you this one and I can ink these up all together. So this one is going to be a regular belly band. So it's going to be the one that goes this way horizontal. And so it measures the five and a quarter, which is the typical width of my pages. And then my um, cut papers or my um, paper part is three and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these bits up just so we're ready for the next step. And I'll be right back. Okay, those are done. So I realized I didn't fold this one. So I'm going to fold it on this pencil line. And again, that is, um, I'm going to cut my papers three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So, um, so this measures, I'm so sorry, I forgot if I showed you. So yeah, it was three and a half by uh, three and a half. So the width of this is three and a half, or the height rather, in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that as best I can on that line. I don't, I'm not a big um, person for scoring unless I need to be super precise. So I'm just gonna do that. Grab my bone folder. I didn't pull my cart over, so everything's a little bit of a, a little bit of a reach. I did also prep the outdoor studio for the watercolor that I told you guys I would do, so I'm hoping to do that this weekend. Um, it's Mother's Day week. It's Mother's Day weekend coming up, which is also my birthday weekend. My birthday's actually tomorrow, May 10th. Um, but you guys won't see this until the 12th. So, um, so there we go. So let's go ahead and get our papers ready. So I'm going to grab my um, get some of this extra stuff out of my way. I'm going to grab my little cutter over here. I don't need the big precision trimmer for this. So I do have to, I find that I can't read these marks very well, so I, I do tend to measure things out. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get two pieces of paper and we're going to go ahead and mark. This one needs to be um, three and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out really quick. <clears throat> sometimes the measurements on these things I just don't trust them I trust my ruler so three and a quarter okay so I'm just going to cut that about that, 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 um, that width and I don't care if my pages are all the same size at all I like that kind of scrappy look so there we go and so we've got basically we're only going to get two out of this so um but they're bigger. So I'm thinking that I'll just do three. So I'm gonna cut this, just this one more because I don't wanna waste that extra piece of paper. So we'll do three total lengths of the paper. And again, precision is not that important. <clears throat> Actually, I might, yeah, I guess this will go up on I'm going to have like four videos in a row, guys, because I'm doing the um, May You Be Inspired collaboration. And so that video has been recorded for a bit and it's going up on the channel and in the groups on the 11th. So I'm going to have videos four days in a row, but that's okay. Then I'll take the weekend off. <laughs> so there we go. So then it needs to be, uh, it shouldn't have moved that. So then it needs to be six and six and a half inches 
in length because we're going to fold it in half. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that at six and a half. And we'll probably be able to use these in another one. So let me grab that trimmer again. I kind of want that crispy stuff, but we'll use it in a different one. You know, the crispy, crispy coffee part. <laughs> Only junk journalers understand the the feeling of that. <laughs> so, okay. So let's get that. That's for this one because it's a little bit of a wider belly band. So we're going to go ahead and fold this in half. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this really quick and I'll be back with you. Okay, just about done. I thought I do want to reiterate about the drawing. So <clears throat> this video is going up on the on Friday the 12th. So I'm going to give you until Saturday the following week. So that would be the 20th. So Saturday the 20th is the last um, day and I'll do the drawing in the evening. So you have all day, uh, obviously, you, United States um, Pacific Standard Time to get all of your comments in and then I will do the drawing on the following Saturday. So you'll have eight days actually to, to catch up with all of those comments. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they kind of got, you know, bamboozled or anything or didn't have enough time. So, uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, use our stapler and do the same here. <clears throat> Plus it takes me a lot of, it's a lot of work for me to go through all those um, comments and make sure I have to keep a spreadsheet so that I can keep track of um, of everybody that commented to see if they commented on every video and then I'll keep a list at the same time of all of the creators that you guys shared with me so I think I'm gonna do I think we'll still be okay with two staples on this one. Oh, that was off gosh darn it well you know what we embrace imperfection <laughs> don't we that's what I say right we just embrace it we don't fret about it so let's see if we can get this to be a little bit tighter of a fold. Perfect. So here is our belly band. This is not obviously going to go in a journal right now. I'm just about done with the fairy, the fairy magic journal number one, and that's going to be the giveaway. And I don't know when I'm going to do that giveaway. So keep, keep commenting and um, I will be drawing randomly. So this is going to go on a page on the left hand side. So that means when this goes like that, then we want this glued exactly like that. So we want it to open. Uh, do we want it to open? I need to get a fake journal out. I'm just going to get this one out, even though it's not the same size, just so I can conceptualize this. So we go on here. Oh. <laughs> it's going to go on like this. Okay, bear with me. So then when it slips, yeah, then we want this glued to that going out. I hope that makes sense, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto here. The fairy ones I think I'm not going to decorate on camera. I will do it before I take my photos and you'll be able to see it in a momento at the end of the video. There'll be photos as well as I do leave a lot of photos on my social media. So... So we're just going to plop that in there and you can see how it's just slightly smaller than the, the folded piece like so perfecto okay so we're going to make our little tabby thing just so that it's ready to go because i can actually glue that on here and then be ready um and then probably i'm not going to do this on camera but i i think i'll probably do a vellum pocket on there on both of them but i'm not gonna i don't want to keep you guys too long so I'm going to not do that on camera. So let me just grab a scrap here. Oh, this would be beautiful. Uh, or should we do? We're looking at this side. So what do you think? I think this. So let's go ahead and fold and cut that down. <clears throat> now you might come up with a better solution for actually, you know what I want to do? I know what I want to do. I want to try it. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let me try it. Um, so I love using this. So let me see if I got a big enough scrap. Oh, I do. Look at this. I've got a big enough scrap. I think I want to use this for my closure. So basically I cut one of these. I'm just going to leave a little bit of that greenery there. 
I like that. Do we need another piece? Does it need to be thicker? I think it might need to be thicker, but I can use any kind of paper now because it's just gonna get glued together. So I'm just gonna use a scrap of this paper, okay? I didn't even think about doing this. This is, this is gonna be cool. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those two pieces together. Thank you, Art Glitter Glue, for still working, even though I left you uncapped. There we go. And we'll put that on like that. And then we gotta pick it up quickly because we don't get a lot of wiggle room with our glitter glue. So that's a lot thicker than, than the other one. So we're gonna ink that gently. Okay. And then what you can do is you can use this as a closure by going like that, okay? And pulling it, you don't want very much of it sticking out though, right? Because you don't want there to be a lot of pressure. So probably about there. So I'm actually gonna make a pencil line, just a little bit of a mark here, just to show like what my max boundary is there. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. I'm not gonna go quite to the line. I'm just gonna kind of eye spy what that looks like on the on the flap here though. Okay, I hope this is making sense. So I know it was about right there. We don't want it to be too, too much. So I'm just gonna do that. And then when this is nice and dry, that's gonna pop. In fact, I'm gonna let it pop out because I don't want that glue to get anywhere in there. So I'm just gonna glue that on and let it set. So that's a lot more um, beautiful, I think, on a page than the other thing, but you could do either one. So when this is dry, I'll be able to tuck this all back under there. And so that is that, and I will put a pocket and put some ephemera in that. So let's do our last one. <clears throat> so this one, the pages need to be um, two and an eighth, I believe. Let me just double check because I mixed up my posty notes. So, yeah, because my um, square is two and a quarter, so I'm taking about a quarter of an inch off. So let's see how, how long these are. See if we can get, so that would need to be four and a quarter. Perfect, look at that. I do want that, that grungy edge though, so let's make sure we retain that. So let me just mark that right there, not even taking that much off. We'll have to take some um, some width off as well, but we'll do that in a second. So let's get that in there. Again, it's not that important to be super precise, just general measurement here. And then it needs to be the same in width. So let's do the same. We're going two and, uh oh, two and an eighth. Hope I'm doing this right. It's a work night, so who knows? My videos always tend to be a little bit rougher when I do them on a work night, but I did prep this last night, so I just didn't have it in me to create a video. So I just came in here and just fussed around and got some things planned so I can get back on my feet fully here. So let's ink these really quick. Okay. There we go. I just love this paper though, you guys. This is amazing, amazing. I wonder if we could do a butterfly closure on the other one, on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and fold these in half. <clears throat> See if I was even remotely close with my, my bits here, I think I was. So yep, perfect. So let's go ahead and staple this. Hopefully I will do better. Whoops, knocking stuff over, Kara Renee. So, so yeah, tomorrow I'm turning the 10th, I'm turning the big 58. So, so yeah, I don't feel old. I, I still feel unhealthy. I need this surgery because it is inhibiting me in so many ways. So I just need it to be done and I can get on with my journey. 
to a better healthy life but I feel like I'm fighting against a monster in the living room right now and it just everything feels really futile as far as my health so there we go so this is again one that's going to go up so it's gonna um, go up the page like this so same thing let's go ahead and get um, our journal over here even though this is not the size and just so I can play around and visualize this so it's going to go like that so that means this needs to go this is going to flip down so this needs to go like that so we're going to go ahead and glue her on right there right there I do have more I'm making more ephemera for the shabby travel journal but I'm not going to be doing it on camera so I have a bunch of um the bases that we made with the fabric and all that, I've got stuff to do with those still, um, but I'll be doing that off camera. I'll probably share them on my social media, but I won't be doing videos. Or I might just say, save it for the big reveal when I do the flip, flip ah, the big flip through. So goodness gracious, Karen, eh? I don't wanna put my arm in that glue. If you want a good solution for a surface this is epic I got it from Amazon and it clean everything cleans off of it it's it's absolutely amazing uh oh which way were we going this way yeah this way so there we go so that's gonna fold up like that and it's gonna open like that perfect so um, so let's do a closure for this as well. So let me see if I've got a piece of scrap for this, um, this bit here. I'm not sure if I do. We've got a pink little medallion. That's a little bit too bright though. I don't know if I have another. I have, might have to get my scrap thing out. I think I will go ahead and just let you guys go and I'll dig up a scrap. You already saw me make those closures before and I'll finish decorating these and, um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care. Bye-bye.